1987. I know you know that because there was a very hot debate about it back in May, and then the law was signed into force on June 1st. And I know you have an opinion about this because it concerns most of you here. It touches most of you here. And then I've been debating it with some, of, some people and some friends over the last months. I was thinking about something. I'm 30. How am I to judge a policy that will affect me 35 years from now? And Natalia is 18. <laughs> it's even further for her. <laughs> so what I did is I got back to the basics, got back to the facts, and I uncovered some which I will share now with you so that you can make the right decision on what to think about whether you support it or not. Fact number one, the current and still current until the end of the year, uh, dates, the uh, ages of 60 and 65 for retirement were established in 1928. And in that year, the life expectancy of an average poll was 48. Which means, when this system was designed and created, you are not expected to live until your retirement. And now if we're trying to make a policy, which is looking 30 years, 30 years before us, into the future, then what we need to do is to look at the past and see what trends, and see the trend, and extrapolate to the future. So 1928, life expectancy was 48. Now it's around 30, 76. And in another 30 to 40 years, we're expected to live around 84 years. That's 20 years longer than the current retirement age. So the trend number one is simply longer life. Trend number two is an aging society. In 1970, the average age of a Polish person was 28. Right now, it's 38. And if you extrapolate that further into the future, the average age of a Polish person will be probably around 50. An aging society. And the third trend is longer education. In 1970, an average person spent eight years of their life in school. Now, we're spending much longer, we're spending 12 years in school, on average. That's at least primary school and high school. And as you can imagine, everyone wants to study nowadays, everyone wants to educate themselves better, just to get a better job, bigger salary, so you can expect this will go even further into the future, into, into more years, 13, 14, which means, obviously, that the longer you educate yourself, the less time, less fewer years you spend working, but that's producing the gene contributing to the GDP. So essentially, if you take these three trends together, in the future, in 2035, 2040, 2060, we will have much fewer young people in productive age producing, spending much less time at work simply because they spend more time in education, and working for a much larger group of healthy, long-living elderly people. Now, this is simple mathematics. You don't need to be a statistician to figure out that this will just not work. So we need to do something. And we need to either collect more money from the producing ones to raise taxes, or raise the retirement age. Either or. And since I do like my job, and I don't mind spending more a few years on it, I do prefer the raising one. But this is obviously the macro scale, the country scale, and we're here people and we're looking at the micro scale. You, know, you have your own concerns, and your micro concerns probably, you will be 60 at some point, and then what if you're unemployed and you cannot find a job? That's a very valid concern. Let me calm down, because all you need to do is to look at the very same trends that I have just shown you. Then number one, living longer. We will be living longer because we'll be healthier because we live healthier, because we have lighter jobs, we don't work in mines anymore or in large factories, not the people here at least. We have better health care and medicine is progressing. So we'll be much more capable to work when we get to that age. Trend number two, the aging society, means that by the time you are 50 or 60, most of the people, like I said, average age will be around 50, will be the same age. There will simply be no younger people to go and take your position. None, not enough. Really, less competition. And the trend number three, more education, means that literally we will be a much different generation going 
and reaching retirement age in 35, 40 years than the current generation is. Just because we grew up, at least most of us here, grew up and are working now in a free society, in a competitive society, we are technologically proficient, and we are quite used to lifelong learning. We will not be the 50, 60 something people who are in who are close to retirement age today and cannot find a job just because they cannot compete with us here. We will be the ones with experience, with education, and with a lifelong learning attitude. So in conclusion, no, yes, we do need to do something about it. And we either raise taxes or we raise the retirement age, and I do prefer the latter. But no, we do not need to fear it. Just because when the time comes, when we will be close to retirement, we'll be ready, we'll be competitive, we'll be healthy and educated, and there will seem to be much less competition. Thank you.